So talking about the generational issue, Casey, you, you asked him about choice of music and, and got an interesting answer. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is true that in these presidential elections, we've never gone back a whole generation. Obviously, President Obama comes from the post-Vietnam generation. But I think Rubio has sort of made a point to emphasize uh, his difference in age from some of these other candidates in the field by talking about his love for rap music. I read in the Washington Post that your staff in 2010 was very impressed that you could spit rap lyrics. I was hoping that we could get a demonstration. No, we're not. No, we're not. Because the ones that I know from the 90s are not, they'd all, they'd all be censored anyway. So, uh, you know what? It's funny you asked me that. There are a couple of modern artists that I really like. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I like Nicki Minaj. I think she's very talented. And Pitbull's become a friend and someone from Miami that we're very proud of. But more Is and more. Is he going to come to your announcement? Yeah, he's in China, I think. So he, it's a long trip. But, but here's my, he's Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> Did, did he say did, uh, Nicki Minaj? Well, yeah, that's a coincidence because Meek and I are really big into rap music too, Casey. You may have read about that on. Uh, online. I gotta tell you, I he's way into way more into rap music than I ever was. Uh, I was the Goo Goo Dolls in the '90s. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, <laughs> Black Balloon, 